put yourself first. Hey guys, it is currently 6.55 a.m. and I haven't gotten up in the 6 a.m. zone in too long. It's not as bad as I thought, but like I'm still like a little tired. Probably gonna take a little nap when I get home because I didn't get to bed as early as I wanted. But I'm just here because I am getting a breathing test that I booked like a long time ago, like five months ago, I'd say probably. And I've been just like on the wait list for it. And she just kind of assigned an appointment for me. So it's 7.15 a.m. <laughs> I have to be here 15 minutes early, so I have to be inside in five minutes. I hope that this goes quick. I feel like I've been coming to the hospital so often. I was just in the emergency, and then before that, I came here for an x-ray. And now, I'm here for this, all in the span of like a couple months, like as opposed to me never going to the hospital. Like, I've probably been here like once in my life, besides from that. But yeah, I'll update you guys when it's done, but I hope everything is fine. I mean, I was just having like weird chest pains, and like felt like I was having problems breathing a few months ago. It hasn't been as bad lately but since i already had the test booked i was like might as well just do it and see because i've been on the wait list so yeah i feel like everything is going to be fine but i guess it's just good to double check so i'm going to go in and i'll update you guys when i'm out so wish me luck Okay, so I just finished my breathing test and I drove to save on. I don't get the results for like a week, so whatever. I'm going into save on right now because if you guys watched my morning routine, you noticed that I discovered the best almond milk for coffee in the world. So I'm going to stock up on this shit because apparently it's on sale. So I'm going to get like five, five bottles, okay? We're going in. We're going to literally take all their stock. Four people discover and it sells out. So let's go. You guys, there was literally one left, which means that people are literally discovering this shit. Like, holy shit, I had to jump to reach that because it was so far back. I hope they restock soon because like, this is this is my crack. This is literally my crack. Like, I can't even explain to you how good this milk is. I'm gonna find try and find matcha now because that milk with the matcha would be literally heaven. Hello, my love bugs. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Kind of a long time no talk. I haven't talked to you guys since the morning and it is currently eight o'clock and I was just about to give myself a snack. I didn't vlog too much today because I literally did nothing exciting, sat my butt down on the couch and worked all day so i was like i want like a healthy dessert and i'm just about to make it and i'm like wait why don't i tell you guys what that is because madison my sister actually kind of made this recipe up and introduced me to it it's not really a recipe it's just kind of a thing so i'm gonna show you guys how to do it because it's delicious and healthy if you're just craving something like light fresh desserty thingy majing it's very good so basically what you do is you get raspberries they need to be frozen okay actually you can probably do it with them not frozen but it tastes better probably frozen okay oh my god and i just can't wait for fresh berry season i love myself a good vat of blueberries raspberries my favorite thing ever blackberries so good that's what i love summer for literally the fresh berries are just so delicious but anyways let's just get into the recipe okay so i'm gonna take my frozen raspberries and they're literally like you guys can see like it's literally in a brick right now because they're so frozen i'm gonna like literally take a cutting board and cut the slice that i want but if your guys' frozen raspberries are not stuck together like mine all you have to do is pour them in normally i literally have to take them and chop them this is a very hard procedure oh that was okay oh no 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 i'm actually an idiot for wearing white sweatpants at home okay i just got the string a little dirty but it's fine we're gonna shout it and put it in the wash asap i should learn my lesson to not wear white things at home do i stop no i don't do i know why no you take your raspberries oh is beginning to look like a fail but i swear this is a good recipe so now we take our raspberries and we take a musher a musher whatever you call this thing and you mush your raspberries so that they're mushed okay so now they're literally flat oh my god they're literally flat to the bowl as you can see now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the secret ingredient maple syrup yay okay so i use this thing like liquid crack and you literally drizzle or pour whatever you like better i like to pour over the raspberries and just like that that's all you do you let it soak in and then you take a spoon oh my god 
It tastes like raspberry gelato. Like, you know when they have that ice cream that's like non-dairy? I don't know if that's called gelato and I don't think it's called gelato. I forget what the non-dairy term is, but it tastes like the non-dairy fruit ice cream that I would get at the ice cream store. It's so good, you guys. Like, do not sleep on this. It's just, it's healthy if you're feeling like a little bit of a sweetness coming on, but you want something refreshing and healthy. 10 out of 10. Don't knock until you try it. This is what dreams made of. Hey you guys, so we just got to a park area where there's like a lake. It is currently like 12 o'clock on Wednesday and it was just such a beautiful day and it's gonna be pretty much raining for the rest of the week. So we were like, let's get out of the house. It wasn't really planned, it was just kind of spontaneous. Yeah, so it's gonna be fun. I haven't been to like a lake slash beach in so long. Actually, that's a lie. Not so long, but like it's been a while and it's kind of like, I love being around like sandy beachy areas. It's not really a beach, but it's like a lake beach kind of thing. Um, um, so yeah, we're gonna go kind of explore, do a little bit of a walk around, and just enjoy the sun. Okay, let's go. It's literally such a beautiful day. It's a little chilly, just a little bit, but other than that, it is so beautiful. I want to encourage you guys to get outside, to go do something for your mental health, to go do something for yourself. Put yourself first. If you don't put yourself first, then you're just gonna keep overworking yourself. Put yourself on the back burner, then you're gonna be unhappy. So go do something for yourself right now, even if it's the smallest thing, even if it's just breathing in some fresh air. Just do something for yourself. Trust me, it makes a huge difference in the long run and sometimes people forget about taking care of themselves and doing little things for themselves like even me and joel coming out here right now we didn't have to we could have just stayed working but we were like you know what it's a beautiful day and if we didn't come out here to enjoy this beautiful view then we wouldn't have gotten to see the beautiful view and we wouldn't have been as happy and we would have maybe even regretted not enjoying this sunny day to its full potential so yeah do something for yourself get out do something that you love because life is too short not to. Life is too short to hold back on things. You gotta live your life to the fullest. You really do. I know it sounds really cheesy, but you do, okay? Like we're only here for a short amount of time. Do what you wanna do. Do what you love doing. Um, make time for yourself. Make yourself a priority, okay? Ladies and gentlemen. All right, you guys, so we just finished up here. Such a beautiful day, I cannot say that enough. And I'm so happy we came out. Instead of sitting on the couch all day and working, took a nice break, came out here, and did something to nourish our mental health and our happiness and ourselves. So again, put yourself first. Do something that makes you happy. Stop making excuses, okay? Do not make any more excuses. Before I would always think like, oh, I'll go do that later, I'll go do that like another day when I have more time. But it's like, the only time is now. Yes. There's no past, there's no future, it's yes. just now. Live in the present, Bo, live in the present. You don't know if you're gonna be alive within the next day or two. So if you wanna do something, you better go do it, because you might get hit by a bus tomorrow. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> a little Hopefully not, but just it's... think about that every time. You wanna do something, just imagine yeah. you're gonna get hit by a bus the next day. Yeah, sometimes I just, I realize that sometimes I forget to live along with every single one of us on this earth. We just forget to live, and we forget what, our, what we're actually here for, and we get caught up in our everyday lives, but so important to ground yourself and realize you know what i'm here to live life is literally too short i just want to start being more spontaneous because spontaneous adventures leads, leads you to spontaneous opportunities mm, that was a good one lesson of the day moments with michaela um okay so yeah we're just gonna head out now and we're going to go back home do some work and then i'm going to the gym today and he's going to be going mountain biking later so it's going to be a great day and i hope we see the sun more because i know that it's going to be supposed to be raining and cloudy but i just can't wait for the summer you guys i love the sun i love the sun but yeah i'll see you guys when we're home Hey guys, so it's currently 3.47 and I'm just gonna get ready for the gym now. Gonna have a good workout session. I'm gonna bring my smaller camera along with me so I'm gonna take you guys on the road. So, see you later. Hey, 
you guys it is currently what day is it today wednesday no it's thursday it's thursday today and you know like last time i came to here and i was trying to get the oat milk and they were all sold out well they restocked okay they restocked and i didn't just get one i didn't just get two okay okay we got nine up in here we got nine bro <laughs> <laughs> How good is it? They're so good. It's actually good. I don't even care that much about the milk that I put in my coffee, but this one is actually different. It hits different for sure. The reason why we bought so much is because the last time that we bought them, we had two at home, and those two went within two days. Like, all my family was like obsessed, so we were all using them, and it went within two days. So we bought nine. So hopefully, it lasts us a little over nine days. Okay, it's literally, I'm not even joking when I say liquid crap. You might think this is over excessive, but trust me, once you try it, you will understand. 